This is the normal world. You go to work in a city. All around you are enormous new buildings. They look alike. But you will never be able to afford to live in them. Because they are not really homes. They are blocks of money bought by global investors whose money has nowhere else to go. Well, at 20 minutes to five, we can now say the decision taken in 1975 has been reversed by this... Brexit happened. It showed that all the people who are supposed to tell you about the world, the journalists, the politicians, the think tank experts, know nothing. It showed that they and you live in a dream world, detached from reality. You spend your days and nights on social media. The original vision was that it was going to open up a new paradise where information was shared freely. But now, the algorithms are so strong and know so much about you that they only give you what they know you like. You have become trapped in an echo chamber where all you see and hear is you. You go into an office and sit at a desk, but maybe it is a fake job. Your real job is shopping. The true factories of our time are the shopping malls. That is where the real hard work is done. You are managed with performance targets and measured outcomes. But as you sit in the glass-walled offices, you know that the targets are manipulated and fake, and the managers know that you know. But you all sit there and pretend it is objective and rational. You are cool, and you know what is cool. The original idea of cool, back in the 1960s, was that you would pull back and see the world for what it really was, the violence and brutal power hidden under the surface. A detached gaze, free of political manipulation. But then the politics fell away, and now you are just left detached. You know that the politicians today have no idea what is happening. They pretend to be in control, but they are helpless in the face of the refugee crisis, and they do nothing to stop the corruption, the growing inequality, the emptying of the cities by the waves of money. But maybe they aren't really politicians any longer. They have become instead pantomime villains, whose real job is to make us angry. And when we are angry, we click more, and clicks feed the ever-growing power and wealth of the corporations that run social media. We think that we are expressing ourselves, but really we are just components in their system. At the moment, that system absorbs all opposition, which is why nothing ever changes. Forty years ago, there was another all-encompassing system. It was in the Soviet Union. But by the 1970s, the system was starting to crack. Russia became a society where everyone knew that what their leaders said was not real, because they could see with their own eyes that the economy was falling apart. But everybody had to play along and pretend that it was real, because no one could imagine any alternative. One Soviet writer called it hypernormalization. You were so much a part of the system that it was impossible to see beyond it. The fakeness was hypernormal. 